best ways to get rid of constant mucus and phlegm in your throat. Mucus and phlegm in the chest and lungs can be very uncomfortable, especially if you can't seem to get rid of it. In this video, we'll go over some easy ways to get rid of mucus and phlegm in your lungs. So, what is phlegm? It is that thick, sticky stuff that hangs around in the back of your throat when you're ill. But did you know that you have this mucus all the time? Mucus membranes make phlegm to protect and support your respiratory system. These membranes line your mouth, nose, throat, sinuses and lungs. Mucus is sticky so that it can trap dust, allergens and viruses. If you're healthy, the mucus is thin and less noticeable, but when you're sick or exposed to too many particles, the phlegm can get thick and become more noticeable as it traps foreign substances. Phlegm is a healthy part of your respiratory system, but if it's making you uncomfortable, you may want to find ways to thin it or remove it from your body. Take the right medications. The most effective way to get rid of mucus is to take the medications that are prescribed directly by your doctor. If you have certain conditions or infections, your doctor may prescribe medications to treat the root cause of your symptoms. There are specific medications that can thin your mucus if you have a chronic lung condition like, for instance, cystic fibrosis. Hypotonic saline is another treatment that's inhaled through a nebulizer. It works by increasing the amount of salt in your air passages. It comes in different strengths and can be used on people over 6 years. Which leads us to our next treatment. Gargling warm salty water. This is a classic home remedy, gargling warm salt water can help clear phlegm that's hanging on the back of your throat. It may even kill germs and soothe your sore throat. It works because sodium helps to break up the disulfide bonds within mucus and thins it out for removal. Mix together a cup of warm water with a half to three fourths teaspoon of salt. Use filtered or bottled water that doesn't contain irritating chlorine. Sip a bit of the mixture and tilt your head back slightly. Let the mixture wash into the back of your throat without drinking it. Gently blow air up from your lungs to gargle for about 30 seconds and then spit out the water. Repeat as many times as needed. Using a saline nasal spray or rinse. A saline spray or irrigator can clear out mucus and allergens from the nose and sinuses. Only use sterile sprays that contain only sodium chloride and make sure you use sterile or distilled water when irrigating. Try the huff coughing technique. Coughing is the most basic airway clearance technique. It can be an involuntary reflex, or it can be controlled as a healthy, natural way for the lungs to get rid of mucus. Huff coughing is a forced expiration technique that is an alternative to deep coughing and is also useful in getting rid of mucus and phlegm. Sit up straight with chin tilted slightly up and mouth open. Take a slow deep breath to fill lungs about three quarters full. Hold breath for 2 or 3 seconds. Exhale forcefully, but slowly, in a continuous exhalation, to move mucus from the smaller to the larger airways. Repeat 2 more times, and then follow with one strong cough, to clear mucus from the larger airways. Do a cycle of 4 to 5 huff coughs to clear your airways. Humidify the air. Moisturizing the air around you can help keep mucus thin. You may have heard that steam can clear phlegm and congestion. Don't use steam as it may cause burns. Instead of steam, use a cool mist humidifier. You can run the humidifier safely all day long. But make sure that you change the water each day and clean your humidifier according to the package instructions. Stay hydrated. Your parents probably told you to drink plenty of water every time you were sick or had a cold. Well, they were 100% correct. It actually does help improve the functionality of pretty much all the major systems of the body. Drinking enough liquids, especially warm ones, can help your mucus flow. Water can loosen your congestion by helping your mucus move. Try sipping anything from juice to clear broths, chicken soup to decaffeinated tea and warm fruit juice or lemon water. Keep your head elevated. This is especially important while sleeping. A post-nasal drip is one of the most common causes of excess phlegm, especially while lying down. It may help to sleep propped up on a few pillows, or in a reclining chair. Lying flat can increase discomfort, it may feel as though mucus is collecting in the back of your throat. Consume ingredients that promote respiratory health. Try foods and drinks that contain lemon, ginger, and garlic. 
there is evidence that these may help treat excess mucus. Spicy foods that contain capsaicin may also help to temporarily clear sinuses and mucus. There is also evidence that the following foods and supplements may prevent or treat viral respiratory diseases. Licorice root, ginseng, berries, echinacea, pomegranate, guava tea and oral zinc. For most people, adding these ingredients to your diet is safe to try. If you are taking any prescription medications, ask your doctor before consuming any of these. Take a hot bath or shower. Time spent in a steam-filled bathroom will help to loosen and clear mucus in the nose and throat. Allowing hot water to pulse on the face can also bring relief from sinus pressure. In this case, the main benefit is to inhale the steam that is produced by warm water. Steam acts as a natural way to help break up and get rid of mucus because it consists of tiny liquid aerosol particles that are suspended within the air. But as mentioned earlier a cool mist humidifier is a much better option. Keep your allergies under control. Seasonal allergies can lead to a runny or stuffy nose, as well as excess mucus and phlegm, an itchy throat, and watery eyes. They can also cause excessive amounts of mucus and phlegm to build up as well. Make sure that you're using your typical prescription or over-the-counter allergy medications in order to alleviate these symptoms. Avoid irritants. Chemicals, fragrances, and pollution can irritate the nose, throat, and lower airways. This causes the body to produce more mucus. So, if you notice that any of these are making your symptoms worse, just try to avoid it if possible. The eucalyptus oil. The eucalyptus tree originated in Australia. Humans eventually discovered its positive health benefits in treating sinus congestion, common cold, fever, and other respiratory ailments. Using eucalyptus essential oil may get the mucus out of your chest. It works by helping to loosen the mucus, so you can cough it out more easily. If you have a nagging cough, the eucalyptus can help relieve that too. You can either inhale vapor by using a diffuser or use a balm that contains eucalyptus. Speak with your doctor before using essential oils on children. Finally, stop smoking and avoid secondhand smoke. Smoking and secondhand smoke cause the body to produce more phlegm and mucus. When to see your doctor. Excess or thick phlegm from time to time is usually not a reason for concern. You may notice it in the morning because it's accumulated and dried overnight. It should be flowing more by afternoon. You may also notice phlegm more if you're sick, having seasonal allergies, or if you are dehydrated. If uncomfortable phlegm is an ongoing occurrence, you might want to make an appointment with your doctor. There are several health conditions that may cause a buildup of phlegm, including acid reflux, allergies, asthma, cystic fibrosis, chronic bronchitis, and other lung diseases. Contact your doctor if your phlegm has been bothering you for a month or longer. Also let your doctor know if you have other symptoms, like coughing up blood, chest pain, shortness of breath or wheezing. Do not stop taking any prescribed medications or treatments without consulting your doctor. The materials and the information contained on this channel are provided for general and educational purposes only and do not constitute any legal, medical or other professional advice on any subject matter.